Welcome to the project demonstration of wireless data encryption and decryption by using RF communication. So here we are going to send the uh, data using wireless RF technology and that will be done with the encryption at this transmitter section and the same data will be decrypted by this receiver module and that was given to the microcontroller and then after the data will be displayed on the 16 by 2 LCD screen for every character we are going to on this buzzer directly. So this is our previous project presentation like the same model. So just I will show you the output now. So we have interfaced the RF module which is operated 2.4 GHz. So both will act as RF transceivers. So now we are using this as transmitter section for the transmitter purpose here and the receiver section with the receiver here. And both are communicating through the main microcontrollers, PIC 16F72 microcontroller. So the PC uh, data will be received by this UL, uh, PL2303 USB to TDL converter. So means the USB data from the laptop will be given as input to this one and it will be converted into the uh, TTL. So that's the controller can understand the TTL data now. So let us see the demonstration. Before on the gates, we need to install a PL2303 application in your laptop. So the execution model also same. So we need to install this application initially. So once we install that, at the end of the installation it will ask for insert the PL2303 to your laptop. So after inserting, just click on OK and don't restart. I mean, uh, I mean repeating that, don't restart. So now connect the USB TTL to the laptop. Right. So after connection made successfully, the device will get switched on. So after connecting to that, you can see uh, this PC and right click and go to manage and in the device manager. So in the device manager there we can see the ports option. So in there we can see the PL2303. If it shows the error over here, then we need to click on that. Update driver. Browse the computer. Let me pick. So there we need to select the 2008 version. Right. 2008 version. Click on that. Next. Okay. So it will install normally and then you get the com number here. Note down the com number. And now go to the hyper terminal folder. So this is the hyper terminal folder which we will going to provide you. So in that click on this LAN folder. So initially it will ask for the country code and all. Just enter the country code and okay, okay, everything. And now it will come to here. So write, type any name, whatever you want. Just type and uh, com4 and restore defaults. I'm repeating type any name which you want and select the exact com number and next restore default okay so now if I type anything from here so you can't uh, see over here and now on the power supply to the receiver module right so initially the system will get switched on and after welcome message displayed on the LCD screen the empty uh, LCD is displayed over here so just I am now typing the data. See, here I am typing that. But it won't appear on this uh, laptop. See. Right. So the same data was received by the receiver section. Right. In to clear that, just restart the motherboard right. again type the data right. 